going to talk to you about a massive intellectual property violation by USPTO. talk to you about a massive intellectual property violation by USPTO. This is very easy to understand. We have here about weak wiki. What is weak wiki? Weak wiki is a device to transfer fluid toward a lamp. It has, uh, it has compliance of uh, hydrodynamics and thermodynamics. I'm going to show you because this is an expression that everybody almost know about. So when do you have an oil lamp or a candle, you see, you start this, so you have this device working. And then you have here fire and you have fluid moving, you see, you have temperature. So what happened is that when, the, uh, when you go to the patenting system, there are 21,945 patents talking about weak wicking. And uh, weak wicking plus capillary, capillary or capillary is 94,000 patents. So, but the problem is I have three patents. You see here my three patents. We have USPTO, there are three patents. But my patents doesn't come from weak wicking because this is a terminology from lay people, people that are not professional. When you go to hydrology, you get a book like this one, Hydrology in the Manual of Watersheds, you see hydrology. You go to the back here, you don't see anything about weak, you see wildlife. Hydrology doesn't talk about weak. So you go also to soil physics. I got PhD in soil science. You go to the, to the, to the index. You don't see anything about wicks. So you see, don't see anything about wicks. But you see about uh, fluids moving on porous systems. What we have here is 1856. Darcy was our, already talking about saturated soil. And we have in uh, 1907 Edgar Buckingham. 
was talking about unsaturated soil. So my patents are based on common knowledge on the textbooks that is being ignored by the patent system because they are just employing terminology of uh, lay people. And I'm demanding USPTO to cancel thousands of patents and get and respect common knowledge from the uh, textbooks because those expressions are near 100 years. So weak, weak, you were not supposed to be in the patents unless for the functioning or oil lamp. Honey, they are talking about oil lamps, you can talk about weak or wicking. But if you want a deep science, deep hydrology, you needed to go to the textbooks like this one and you needed to use what has been used there. We see this here. For example, this is saturated and unsaturated regions and the transference of fluids is just what I have in my patent. And unhappily my patent is being ignored is the first figure, figure of my patent because USPTO is ignoring common knowledge from textbook and issuing patents with lay pupil terminology. I have my conceptions about the week. I can come in here, this is an island cord, okay? If you think this is a wick, I can come here and burn it. So, easily, you can conclude that this nylon cord would fail as we as weak. So this is theory of knowledge, okay? So this is not a weak, this is a nylon cord, it fails. So my demand to USPTO is that this, uh, this uh, respect for common knowledge is employed so we can understand very easily how serious is the problem. Uh, Thermal heat conductivity is measured in 6153 patterns. So, uh, heat and thermal conductivity is measured in 6153 patterns, while unsaturated uh, hydraulic conductivity is measured in 17 patterns. So, I'm demanding the USPTO to cancel, uh, I don't know, 10, 20,000 patents or even more. So stop using terminology of lay people and starting respecting the hydrological conceptions in the books, okay? So when this is going to be used and uh, canceling the patent, it will have an uh, option for me and for everybody that is in hydrology to use terminology 100 years old, okay? Thanks for attention, bye-bye.